ESP32 Bluetooth Plus Wi-Fi module by the Expressive Systems come with the built-in low energy Bluetooth module which can be used just like the standard HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth modules. The ESP32 Bluetooth module can be paired with all types of cell phones and special Android cell phone applications can be designed for monitoring and controlling different types of sensors and electrical loads. I will start with the very basics explaining how to make a simple wireless text messaging system using the ESP32 Bluetooth module and the Android cell phone application. After explaining the basic programming and circuit diagram, then I will explain how to make a smart house and control electrical loads using the ESP32 Bluetooth and an Android cell phone application designed in Android Studio. Later in the end, I will explain. Wait, I think I forgot to mention the sponsor. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. So later in the end, I will explain how to use the ESP32 Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together to make smart house or home automation system. You will be able to control the electrical loads using the Android cell phone application without using the internet and more, it's best for the short range communication. For the worldwide control system, we will make an application using the Blink IoT platform. With the help of this application, the electrical loads can be controlled from anywhere around the world. For every load to control, strong passwords are used which can be manually entered using my designed Android cell phone application. Or you can make your own application, add some buttons and you don't need to write the passwords. Both the applications can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. If you want to design your own Android cell phone application, then watch my tutorial which explains step by step how to make your own Android cell phone application using the Android Studio. In this episode, we will cover number one, circuit diagram explanation. Number two, basic, intermediate and advanced code explanation. Number three, Blink application designing and finally number four, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon and Banggood. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's first start with the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This is the same 5 volt regulated power supply I have been using for the Node MCU SP8266 Wi Fi module. J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module and the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the ESP32 module. For the easy interfacing, I designed my own ESP32 based development board as per the circuit diagram already explained. After I was done with the designing, I generated the Gerber files using the PCBWay online Gerber files generator tool which hardly takes two to three minutes and finally uploaded my Gerber files. 
This is the ESP32 power supply board after completing the soldering job. As you can see, the PCB quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the plague solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. The Gerber files of the PCB board can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. Connect the ESP32 Bluetooth Plus Wi-Fi module with the laptop and upload this simple sketch developed by Evandro Copersini, which I will modify in a minute. But first, the basics. So at this point, I changed the name of the Bluetooth device to ESP32 Electronic Clinic. The only purpose of this code is to send a text message for the computer serial monitor to the Android cell phone Bluetooth application or from the Android cell phone Bluetooth application to the computer serial monitor. The Bluetooth serial library and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this basic program in action. While the ESP32 Bluetooth Plus Wi-Fi module is connected with the laptop, open the serial monitor, then open the Android application which you can download from our website. Search for the paired devices. Click on the ESP32 Electronic Clinic and click on the connect button. At this point you should be able to send and receive messages. Now I will modify the circuit diagram and programming to control 220 volt AC light bulbs using only the Bluetooth and an Android cell phone application which I will further modify to make a smart house or home automation system using ESP32 Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together. This is the final modified circuit diagram. It's totally up to you you want to control these relays using only the Bluetooth or using only the Wi-Fi or using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together. Currently I have connected a 4 channel relay module you can use a ready-made relay module or you can follow the same exact connections and build a one by yourself. All the relays used in this project are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. As you can see, the connections of all the relays are exactly the same. This relay has a total of 5 pins, 2 relay coil pins, common, normally closed and normally open. These are 12 volt relays and cannot be directly controlled using the ESP32 module. So that's why we need a driver to control these relays. You can use a relay driver IC or you can use 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. One pin of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the other pin of the relay coil is connected with 12 volts. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the 10K resistor. Now to control these relays you simply need to connect these 10K resistors with the ESP32 I.O. pins. In this project I am using the GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I'll be using same pins in the programming. A neutral wire from the 110 or 220 volt AC is connected directly with the neutral point of the light bulbs while the live wire is connected with the bulbs through the relays. This is a 4 channel relay module which all used for controlling the light bulbs. Finally I connected everything as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's have a look at the modified ESP32 Bluetooth programming. As you can see this is the same exact program which I modified for controlling home appliances. I defined pins for the relays and selected strong passwords so that nobody else can control the appliances. One password is used to turn on the relay while the other password is used to turn off the relay. This is the same basic programming I used in the car automation and anti-theft system which was based on the HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth module. 
So for the detailed explanation, watch my Blue Medic Car video. The modified circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. While everything is powered up, never touch the relays is 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. Make sure you wear the protective gloves. Make this project at your own risk. You can use this simple Android application for controlling electrical loads. If you can remember passwords, you can also use short passwords. These are basically the commands which are used to control the relays. I know this is not user friendly. It wastes a lot of time. That's why we designed another cell phone application using Android Studio. This app is actually developed by my brother Fawad who is currently running another website programmingdigest.com. So if you have any questions regarding the Android application development you can visit his website. I will provide a link in the description. You can also watch my video on Android cell phone application designing which covers all the basics. Now let's modify the ESP32 programming so that the relays can be controlled using the Android Bluetooth cell phone application and also the Wi-Fi technology. So for the worldwide control system we will make an application using the Blink application. So let's start with the Blink application. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. This is the final ESP32 Bluetooth and Wi-Fi based smart house programming. As you can see this time I added this library while the pins and passwords remain the same. I added the authentication code and the Wi-Fi credentials. In the white setup function I added the blink.begin function and finally in the wide loop function I added the blink.run function. Rest of the programming remains the same. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagrams, programs 
libraries and Android cell phone application can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.